friends, it's Whitney, your host with Needles Embroidery. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to take the measurements that we took in our last video on measuring the fast frames and plugging it into your PE Design Next software. First thing is, I already have my program opened up. I have my daughter's name on, on the screen, but my design setting or the setting for where it's going to embroider is too large. I'm not going to be using thank you that that big of a fast frame today. So I'm going to use my smallest frame because I'm going to be embroidering her name on her baby cap. So this is how you do it. You go up here to design settings and it will give you two types of machines. So my single needle machine or my multi-needle machine. And I'm going to be using my multi-needle machine to use my fast frames. Down here, it gives me a page size. Well, I actually don't have the smallest size frame down here. Do you love this label right here? Small-ish <laughs> frame. Um, so I don't have it available. So I'm going to custom size my fast frame. Or excuse me. Okay, so I don't have it available up here in hoop size. So what I'm going to do is edit hoop hoops up here. Here's the ones that I have already added, but I want to add the smallest ones. So in my recent video, I measured the smallest fast frame that I have, and it is 60 millimeters from one side to the other, but I always subtract five millimeters when I put it into my computer because I want to make sure and know for certain that my needle is not going to hit my is not going to hit my fast frame. Okay, so I have the width is 60 millimeters, and then the height was almost 120, but I'm going to take that in and say I'm going to subtract subtract five, so 115 millimeters for the height. And then down here in the comments, I'm actually going to label this one smallest fast frame, and I just use FF for fast frame. So to add this to the list, I click add list, okay? And I can even drag, I can even move it up to, to fit my needs and um, kind of organize these a little bit better so I have my smallest one on top down all the way to my large one. Okay, so I hit okay. Now I can go to hoop size, scroll down all the way past the options that you have for your, your hoops, and here we go. 60 by 115 millimeter smallest fast frame. That's the one I wanna use. And I can already tell that Michaela's name is going to be too large for it. So I can either rotate Michaela's name. Okay. Or an alternative to rotating it with that red dot up here is to go to right click it. Go down here to numerical settings and rotate. It'll come up in the left hand corner and I want to rotate it where it's sitting up on its side. So I go to 90 degrees and I can either rotate the arrow myself or just type in 90 and voila. So I, I hit preview to see what it would look like and then I hit OK to set it. Now I'm going to make sure it's in the center of my fast frame. Okay, and now it is ready to go on my daughter's baby cap. Now, it's, 
But if you want to see that video, stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how to put a name on a baby cap or a baby beanie. Bye, guys.